I began writing a series on Facebook called Female Nightmares, where I would tell actual dating stories that I've experienced throughout the years. And I didn't expect it to be a big thing, but it, it took off. So one night hosting uh, in, in New York, I'm hosting comedy night and I meet a young lady. She tells me her name is Thickness, which was unusual, but I learned after this experience, never trust a woman whose name is an adjective. <laughs> so, she lived in the Bronx, in the projects, and I, you know, I never, you know, I'm 21, 22 years old, I don't know anything about what's the projects, what's not, so, she says, you know, after you host next Monday, just come by, we'll chill out, so it's about, I don't know, I host the show, I get to her, it's about 2 o'clock, and we're, we're hanging out in her apartment, you know, I got my shoes off. I'm eating pizza that she ordered earlier. Oh man. So it's about three in the morning now, and we're on the top floor of a project building in the Bronx. And I hear someone coming up the stairs and coming down the hallway. It sounded like an ogre. And she says, and I'll never forget it, because I'm sitting there feet up. Zipper open, pants over, you know, and she's like, uh, oh, I think that's my husband. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and he, you know, men, even in that moment, we got questions that need to be answered. I'm like, what, what do you mean? You didn't say you had a husband. What are you, what are you talking about? And it's no time to talk. Like, he's, he's coming down the hall and putting his key in the door. So I had to think fast. I jumped up, I threw my shoes on. I picked up the pizza box and I stood by the door. And when he came in at three in the morning, I said, oh yeah, you said sausage. Let me see if I have yours downstairs. And I walked past him and I could see his face when I walked by his door. <laughs> and then I made it. I made it to the hallway. And as soon as I get to the top of the stairs, and mind you, this guy looked like Kunta Kente after a full day's work. I mean, this guy was like shoulders were away. And, and I, I knew I was in trouble, but I get to the foot of the stairs and I hear him just come. It sounded like he went through the door without opening it. And he's running down the hall. Now, I'm jumping down whole flights of stairs and I'm just I you, know, no, you can't stand here trying to get an elevator. And as I'm running down the stairs, he's making these bird calls. He's like, ooh, 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 ooh. And you just hear all these doors opening and everybody's running down the stairs and I'm running down the stairs. And now, <laughs> when I get to the last flight of stairs, there's, okay, a lesbian American that is severely masculine is waiting for me at the bottom of the stairs with a, with a triple fat goose on. And she's like, I got him, I got him. I didn't even slow down. I, I did what we're taught to do in this world nowadays. I treated her like everybody else. And I smeared her across that wall like some peanut butter or some Nutella. I ran out into the courthouse, the court ground, whatever you call it, and everybody was chasing me. And you know, back then you only had a car key, so I had to run the car and I had to, you know, unlock the door and get in the car. Now everybody's kicking the car and I hit the car behind me, hit the car in front of me, hit the car behind me and went home. <laughs> that's, that's one of my experiences. <laughs> that is one of my experiences from doing the uh, comedy night in the city. So, <laughs> when you went back to the apartment the next time, <laughs> there was no next time. Although, and you know, we get labeled for being the grindy people, but she did reach out again and say, uh, I had his hours wrong. I'm like, you didn't say you had a husband. What are you, you know? But no, I never went back to see her. Female nightmares.